Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how I use ChatGTP and Midjourney to generate unique and consistent coloring pages with no grayscale. We will also be generating vibrant coloring book covers. I will also show you how to remove this text that commonly appears when we generate book covers. Our final step will be using Canva to complete the design process process of a coloring book ready to upload and sell on Amazon. For the sake of those getting started and you haven't yet published your first coloring book or you have done a few and they haven't done as well as you hoped they would, there's still room in this market. Even though it's, it's a very competitive niche, it's also just as popular. There's so many people looking to buy all sorts of adult coloring books, children's coloring books. The best way to approach this if you're just wondering if it's too late to publish your book is to click on the last 90 days and what this does is it gives you an idea of what has been published recently and is ranking and selling. But the point here being that it's possible to come onto this market take a bit of the share of the carrying book market. Look at the market you're looking to enter and see if you can bring something different or you can improve on what's existing. The next step is to come to ChatGTP and have a look at how I developed the poll process step by step until I was able to get a prompt that worked for me. I started off with a very general query. I asked GTP for popular coloring books for adults and GTP just came back with significantly popular books. So that was very general information. The next question was popular animal coloring books. So I would narrow down to not just coloring books, but animal coloring books, but for adults, large print. I went on narrowing my queries to GTP and this one was which animals are more most popular in adult coloring books to design and sell online. So what I'm doing here is I am training GTP for what I'm looking for. I'm actually narrowing down my queries and I'm saying I'm not just looking for a coloring book. I'm looking to sell it, design it and sell them online. Then this is what I got back that there are several animals that are often well received in adult coloring books. It's like getting somewhere. So I started getting a mention of actual animals like owls, butterflies, peacocks and all of that. You can look at the list. My interest was on butterflies right from the start. So I asked GTP to give me an excellent prompt to use for an AI image generator. I'm getting more and more specific with GTP as I go on. So at this point I mentioned I'm going to be using an AI image generator and I then specified that I was looking for crisp and clear white background and the butterflies needed to be large for coloring pages and I mentioned the audience I was going after because I've already told GTP I'm looking to sell these books online. I went on and tested this prompt and there was a lot of grayscale and it wasn't exactly what I had in mind so there wouldn't be enough time to show you what every prompt gave me. But what I wanted to show you is how I narrowed down my queries to a point I was able to get the prompt that worked for me. I asked GTP to combine the above with flowers and make sure it had clear lines and white spaces to color in. He responded with intricate flowers, thoughtfully designed for the audience I'd asked for. Pristine white background was mentioned, crisp clear lines. Then I asked to be given a variation of the above, aiming for different, but consistent. And I guess this keyword was very useful. And whenever you say to GTP, as discussed above, the AI is so clever, they're able to look back and keep the conversation going. I'm going to now jump on to the final prompt because I tested so many things, I kept going. This is the prompt that eventually worked for me and produced consistent, clear images which had no grayscale. Let's go to Mid Journey now and have a look at the images that that prompt produced. These are just examples of the first four images I was able to get from this prompt. So it looks like a recycling symbol and that's what exactly it does. It just recycles that prompt. This shortcut here is very, very useful when you want to go faster on my journey. That is to upscale all the four images. Instead of clicking on each one of them to upscale, you just click on that 
and it upscales all of them. I upscaled all the four images and as you can see that is amazing. I am very happy with that. Image two, that's the look of it. What I want us to notice in terms of consistency is the bold lines on the outside. I'm going to go back to the prompt and talk through the prompt just so you can have some takeaways that you might want to test with different niches and see if you're able to get clear consistent images like these. If you look at the bolded line on the outside and also the patterns around the wings and the intricate flow flowers that are very subtle around the butterflies that design is very consistently the same uh, the third one has the same pattern and it's got the bold around it on the outline it's got the intricate flowers that are not dominating the coloring page but the butterfly dominates but the flowers are just intricate and subtle and that repeats again on the fourth image and I was very very pleased with those first four images I repeated this prompt quite a few times that's just giving you an idea of what I was able to produce and that's a fantastic one. The only one I didn't use was this because I didn't like the grayscale but also the flowers are a bit much. But this is all the images in a nutshell. At a glance you're able to see the consistency I was talking about. If you look at the outline and you look at the intricate design of flowers around the butterfly, the butterfly remaining the main subject on the coloring page. I was very happy with these and kept going and I was able to produce a good 30 to 50 images. Most coloring books range between 30 to 50 images. I was easily able to achieve that. For every book we design we need to think about the interiors and the cover. Those were my interiors and they're all ready to go. Come back to ChatGTP. For those who may be wondering this is the free version of GTP so I'm not on a paid version but it still worked marvelously well for me so far. I referred GTP back to our previous discussion and GTP is very well aware of the niche and the coloring book I was looking at. So this is what I asked GTP. I said using the above theme give me an excellent prompt for Midjourney AI image generator to come up with a colorful book cover with similar images as above based on flowers and butterflies. And I said similar images because I wanted the book cover to match at least one or two of the images that were inside the book. These are the book covers I ended up with. Don't worry about the writing. I'll show you how to remove that. I was very happy with these because they do have that large image and subtle flowers around it. At this point we've got our book cover generated and we've got our 30 to 50 images. So to upscale these images to improve the resolution I'm going to be using Big JPG. If you just type Big JPG on Google it will come up. It's a free tool. Select the images. Once you've uploaded the images that you want to upscale click on start and I leave most of these settings as they are. The resolution is fantastic even at four times upscale. Click OK. Once our images are ready, download them all and upload them onto Canva ready to start creating our book. So when you come to Canva, click on create a design, go to custom size. I'm going to start by creating the interior of the book and you want 8.5 by 11 inches. So this is our blank custom canvas to start creating our interiors. The very first step I do when I come onto a clear canvas is I go to file, view settings, show print bleed. This is where the book is going to be cut off when Amazon is printing the book. Anything that you do not want to be cut off in the book on the book cover or the interior, you do not want it coming too close to the print bleed. I'm happy to do a full Canva walkthrough video on how to design your this belongs to page, how to get your texts in there, how to do something like that. Those are things I can actually do in a future video. But today's video it was focused on prompting and generating images from me journey. I have already uploaded my images. If I come to uploads I would have majority of the images for this project. Click on the image. I already have my bleed margin marked for me so I don't expand my image too far out. And looking at the feedback on coloring books a lot of customers do appreciate having a blank page where the coloring pens are not running into the next image. Normally leave it as a white page and then do my image, blank page, image, blank page, image and you get the picture. 
I'm not going to do a whole book worth of images for this video, otherwise it's going to be too long. But I hope that helps you and you're able to see the process. If you were doing a 60 page coloring book, it would mean 30 images and the other 30 pages would be blank pages. That's the designing process of our interiors. All you need to do is come on here, share and you click on download. PDF, best for printing, ZMYK, that's a whole other science of printing, but it gives you the best professional printing. And as you can see, it's got pro membership symbol. It means you need to be a kind of a paid member to be able to use that. But if you're not a paid member, I have a link below this video where you can test out Canva for 30 days for free. See if it's something you want. Select the pages you want to print and let me just download. And that's it. So that's our interiors done. The next thing to do is to design your book cover, which I've already done ahead of time, but I'm going to walk you through the process. Click on create design, go for custom size, come to to KDP cover calculator. If you Google cover calculator KDP, these templates will come up. Fill in all your information, black and white interior, white paper, left to right, it's in inches. We want 8.5 by 11 inches. I'm gonna go with 100 because I'm doing 50 images. Calculate your dimensions, you download the template and then upload it to Canva where you're gonna be using it. The full cover size, including bleed is 17, 475, 11, 250. So these are the details we're looking for. And that's what you want to come on here and put in. So I'm gonna start with a blank canvas to walk you through how I achieved this. So this is my template, the one we just looked at a minute ago. You can black and white, 100 pages, white paper. So the details we entered in the book cover template. I like to start with this to make sure that I am designing with in the margins that are required so that your book doesn't get rejected when you upload to Amazon. You come to transparency and I put it down that far so I can actually see it but still be able to get on with my designing. Go to my uploads. That's the book cover we are looking to use. I enlarge that to fit my front cover. I'm going to show you in a minute how to get rid of that to delete this text. So you click on the image itself and edit photo comes up and we have something that works like magic called a magic eraser. So you come here with the eraser and you can actually make the brush size bigger or smaller depending on the area you're working on. Run that eraser on all the text that you want to delete and you leave it alone to do its magic. And just like that, our text has disappeared. And now we have a clear page to work on. I'm going to pick up this color using a color picker. It's called Colorzilla. So I'm going to click on Colorzilla, then pick color from page. I want this color. So you click on it and then it gives you the color code. And you just paste it there. And that's the color we want for the back. I'm going to come on to uploads select some of the images just to show the customer what they're getting. What I do to get consistent sizes is duplicate that, but we're not going to use exactly the same. We're going to bring in another one, but put it over that. Repeat the process and that's it. Once we've designed the front and the back cover of our book, the next thing is to add the title and tell the customers what the book is all about in terms of the niche and then some more information on the back. To make sure this video is not too long, I'm just going to speed this up by going on to my final look of the book. I've added all the text that needs to go on there. So it's a large print. That's one of the selling points. So Butterflies and Flowers coloring book. At the back, I have a made sure to tell the buyer how many designs are inside the book. Even though this information should be included in the description of your book, also many people do not take the time to read the full description. So it's good to just highlight some of that key information on the cover. You can go ahead and add your brand name if you've got things like a logo. It's a great way to market your work if you've got your logo and maybe some form of a brand that identifies who the author is. This now is ready to download. Click on share. PDF print, best for printing, CMYK, download our final design. We are moving on to the final step, which is to upload our book for sale on Amazon, which I'm going to talk you through in a minute. 
We are now on Amazon ready to upload our coloring book. Click on create and it's a paperback. And fill in all the necessary details. I have used ChatGTP to help me with crafting some keyword rich titles and description as well. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to come back with all that information. And before I do that, I just wanted to quickly mention this is a Chrome extension called Productor for KDP. It helps me to do trademark checks. Uh, I talked a little bit more about this in my previous video. Make sure to watch that if you're not aware of Productor for KDP. I have filled out all our coloring book details. So I've got the title, the subtitle, and a lot of this has been inspired by ChatGTP. Some of the questions I've asked ChatGTP to get these description and titles. Give me an excellent book description to help me sell the above coloring book on Amazon. Make sure to include relevant and popular keywords for this type of coloring book. I have found it very helpful when doing projects like this to have continuity from researching the book to getting GTP to do the prompts with me. Uh, so by the time we come to the description and keywords, GTP is very well trained on that particular project in terms of the keywords, in terms of the audience we are speaking to, where we're selling it, all that. So GTP has a lot of information crafting a prompt for me journey all the way now to giving me a description for selling the same book on Amazon. So it was easy to come up with the relevant keywords. So this is an example of one of the descriptions that GTP has given me. And at the end of it, which is fantastic, GTP gives me keywords I can actually use for the section where we choose up to seven keywords. Even though I say it's optional, I'd strongly suggest that you put searchable keywords to help your book to be discovered either on Amazon or a Google search. I always maximize this space. I don't just fill in a few words and leave it. And obviously you don't want to keyword stuff. You want to put relevant keywords. In that case, GTP has been very helpful. I did ask for popular keywords that are commonly used by online buyers when searching for a coloring book to buy online, especially on Amazon. And I got all these amazing keywords. But the other thing I would say, I wouldn't copy this whole description onto Amazon just to use that information to come up with my own wording that makes sense to what I'm doing. I also came and asked for a book title. So I said, what well, would be an excellent keyword reach book title for the above book when listing it for sale on Amazon. There were some keywords I could pull out of that title that GTP suggested. I also did ask a suggestion of a subtitle and I found some keywords I could use like calm, calming, creative, artistic expression. This tool is invaluable in designing our books. It makes the work so much easier if you know what you're looking for. So yes, I filled out that page. The next thing we need to do now is save and continue. And also to mention that I have done a full video on this process of uploading books onto Amazon. I'm going to link those videos below. Print options would be black and white interior with white paper. Our book is 8.5 by 11. It's got bleed. Uh, because the cover is very colorful, I want it to stand out. So I'm going to go for glossy. Our manuscript and book cover have successfully uploaded. So the next step is to launch preview. Once we've done the book preview, the next thing is the pricing summary. Save and continue. On this page, I go for for all the territories. Amazon.com is my main marketplace for a coloring book. I like to start at $7.99 and I let Amazon populate the rest of it. I would select expanded distribution so my book is available for wholesalers and other retailers who might want to buy it in bulk. So our book is ready to publish and available available for sale in about 72 hours from when you hit publish. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye now.